Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechad Kodash. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that continually rule very well to this very day, that is continually feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> and also, Shalom to the whole elect that's continually plowing his work and giving your diligence to make your calling and election sure in faith, in truth, in the sincerity, and also in all charity. Now, uh, <clears throat> it's going to be an update in which uh, concerning this uh, current, or should I say the current economic status of America, and the current status of America's economy is that it's going down the toilet at this point. All right. <clears throat> Because now you have uh, this recent piece of, of, of information, this news article from RT concerning uh, J.P. Morgan, in which J.P. Morgan is a well-known uh, <clears throat> industry. All right. And now J.P. Morgan is reporting on the uh, current status of the dollar being a, a global, being the global currency. All right. Because you had the dollar which was the global currency and it's still being used as a glo global global currency to this day but now you're starting to see a shift in the global currency and now these other nations that have once dealt with the dollar they're moving away from it all right the reason why because the dollar is, is consistently losing its value as time moves on because the dollar is not backed by anything all right really this dollar and uh, the use of the dollar <clears throat> is pertaining to the uh, and pertaining to a debt system. All right. Now, after a process of time, when you build up so much debt, it creates a, a cycle or a bubble, so to speak. And as it continues to grow, it's going to blow out of proportion. That's when you're going to start to see um, your prices skyrocket. And other things going to start to skyrocket and spiral out of control because the, the debt has finally um, <clears throat> reached the point of being out of control. So now economists have been reporting on the, uh, the current status of the dollar. So now you have J.P. Morgan that's also reporting on this, saying that the, the, the global the global dominance of the dollar is coming to an end like it says right here in front of me so and this is part of a, a prophecy man you know people once again man we always bring this out concerning the, the dollar system we, we have been saying for years and years on end starting with the apostles and the elders of great millstone on down that the dollar is going to crash man now look now look what was uh, what's happening man And you're about to see very soon that, that this doll is going to lose its value. The, the doll is going to be used for nothing but toilet paper in that day, man. All right. And the day that I'm talking about, I'm talking about the day when everything falls through, when shit is the fan, all hell breaks loose. And you and from then on, the doll is going to be useless. And the only form of currency that's only going to be used in that day is going to be digital currency, which is going to be used by way of of the RFID Merkle chip, which is known in the scriptures in Revelation the 13th chapter and the 16th verse as the mark of the beast. All right. That's going to be the only currency that's going to be used in that day. That's why you're starting to see a shift from the uh, the greenbacks to a, uh, a digitized system that uses your credit card. All right. And then they went, they moved from the magnet strip in the back of the credit card to a, a a small chip that's implanted within the card. And the next move is going to be a chip implant, implanted with, inside the people. All right. So this is another step forward towards the mark of the beast. This is another step forward towards the, 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 the mark of the beast system to be fully implemented, man. All right. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and I'll jump into this article here and then I'm going to grab a few precepts concerning that. Because once again, you know, we've been speaking on this for for years and years now we've been speaking on this for a long time 
that this dollar is going to crash and it's going to make way for the mark of the beast. And you're starting to see it right, right before your very eyes. What you're starting to see right now is Bible prophecy coming to pass. All right. And it's up front and it's personal. All right. And it's coming to a city near you. So it says right here and JP Morgan says dump U.S. dollar as a century of global dominance coming to an end. All right. <clears throat> so the dominance of the dollar over this global system has been, been going on for you for uh, uh, X amount of years. All right. It's looked at as the, 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 the global currency. But now, once again, like I mentioned before, you're starting to see a shift from the dollar. Man, the dollar is losing its value and it's going to be no longer useful for these other nations. OK. Um, <clears throat> bring on. It says the U.S. And I'm going to just read a little bit. I'm not going to go too much into it. It says um, the U.S. dollar would struggle to remain the top international currency. All right. In the coming decades, as the rising power of Asia or Asian economies is set to undermine its leading position. Wall Street Bank. Uh, J.P. Morgan Chase has predicted. Now, J.P. Morgan Chase, you already know about Chase Bank. Um, <clears throat> that's what you normally um, deal with when it comes to purchasing vehicles and other things of that nature. When you put down a credit for a vehicle. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so you have J.P. Morgan Chase that has also put their two cents in, two cents in concerning this, man. You have economists that's predicted this. And now you're having J.P. Morgan is also predicting there's going to be an economic crash in the, in the horizon, man. All right. <clears throat> now, uh, I'm read, I'm read the, uh, this little bit here that's in bold. It says, however, we believe the dollar could lose its status as the world's dominant currency due to structural reasons as well as cyclical impediments. All right. It says many other currencies came to their demise throughout history thanks to shifts in global economic centers, which is now poised to move towards Asia. All right. The, the strategist points out while China's uh, accession. That's like it. Uh, stop reading for a little bit. It says. Um, <clears throat> while China's accession the global superpower status is believed to be one of the factors of this shift is not the only one all right so not only asia is, is the uh preceding factor of why this is happening but you got other powers that have come into a play when it comes to establishing uh, global dominance that's why america is no longer looked at as the golden city as it used to be pursuing on to once again pursuing on, on to prophecy all right america is known as babylon the grain the bible is looked at as the golden city the virgin daughter of babylon is no is no longer being called tender and delicate all right like the scriptures say you know america is not that big big superpower that it used to be where all other nations tremble under the rule of america but now you got these other nations that are now on the same level playing field. Okay. And that's all I wanted to read in that article. All right. Just want to bring that out because when you have uh, industries such as JP Morgan, JP Morgan Chase, which again is well known, it's a well known industry. So when you have JP Morgan is reporting on this. You already know that something serious is about to come very soon, man. Pursuing to the, the downfall of this dollar. And it's only a matter of time before it completely crumbles. All right. Now, that's all I want to read on it. If you want to read some more, um, you can go on RT and look it up. But I'm going to go ahead and jump to the precepts. First, I want to grab Habakkuk, the second chapter, the sixth verse. It says, uh, shall not all these take up a parable? against them in a taunting proverb against them talking about Esau which Esau is the progenitor of the so-called white man the, the, the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man according to the bible is the nation of Edom all right so when it speaks about a taunted proverb against against them it's talking about Esau all right 
and say, Woe to him that increaseth that which is not his. How long? And to him that laid it himself with thick clay. Now, when you look up that word clay, it means debt. I believe the Hebrew word is ibadia. All right? Which means debt. All right? Because the way that the dollar was set up was through debt. Okay? Now, when you look at the, uh, the status of debt, debt is associated with slaves. All right? When you deal with currency, when you deal with a currency system that's, that's built on debt, that's a slave, uh, slave-like currency, man. All right, because when you're in debt to something or someone, that means you're 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 at their service. <clears throat> okay. And this man has has laid himself with thick clay. He laid himself with thick debt. And once again, that's what this dollar system is based off of, man. That's why it's, it's going down the path that it is right now. Because there's no way that the dollar can bounce back from the amounts of debt that it has accumulated. Okay? Now, I'm going to go on from there. Get the book of uh, Zephaniah, the first chapter and the 10th verse. It says, And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, Yehowah Ba'ashim Shai, which is the true name. Of the heavenly father Which is Yahweh And his son's name Yahweh Shai That there shall be the noise Of a cry from the fish gate And then howling from the second And a great crashing from the hills Right Now this symbolized the, the economic crash Alright Because the fish gate Is where you do business Okay That's why in Modern day The modern day fish gate Today Here in America Is, is Wall Street Okay so you're going to hear the noise of the cry from the fish gate, howling from the second, and a great crash from the hill. So this 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 economy, this dollar system is going to crash. All right, there's a reason why it's going to crash. Now one of the reasons why is because, is that I read it in the book of Hebrew, uh, not Hebrews, uh, Habakkuk, the second chapter concerning thick clay, which means thick debt. Another reason why is because it's, it's corrupted. All right, let me grab that. James, the fifth chapter, in the third verse, it says, Your gold and silver is cankered. All right, when you steal something that's cankered, it's corrupted. All right, it's corroded, it's deteriorated. Okay, so it says, Your gold and silver is cankered. And the wet and the rust of them shall be a witness against you, and shall eat your flesh, flesh as it were fire. Ye have heaped treasures together for the last days, and we're in the last days. All right. So that gold and silver, which represents their 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 wealth, is cankered. All right, because their wealth is based off of based off this, this this dollar, which is not even worth anything. All right. And it says, and the rest of them shall be a witness against you. And the rest represents that corruption, like I mentioned before. All right? Because you can't fix rust. When something is rusted, you have to you have to destroy it. Either destroy it or throw it away. So with this dollar system, there's no recovering from, from what, what it's going into, man. There's no recovering from the damage that is done in the path that it's going down. All right? And like I mentioned before, this is all leading up to the advancement of the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. All right? Because that's when, if you go into the word mark in the Greek, it means karagma. Okay? Go ahead and grab that scripture. It's the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter and the 16th verse. And this, like I mentioned before, this is what this is what we lean lean towards, man. This is the road that America is headed to fulfill prophecy. All right. And rightfully so, man, because after this, then spells the end of America. That's why we've been speaking about World War Three, about great distress. This is what comes with it, man. 
So before World War Three commences, because when World War Three is officiated and you're starting to see it become a, you start to see it flare up and commence, that's when America's gonna be destroyed. Because that's when